Marco making his third entrance to the Sanchi ring this evening. And Gotardi making his second entrance. So then neither of them are strangers to the Sanchi setup. I don't know if any, either of them have fought in the open air on a beach before, um, but they look confident. And I'm assured by my co-commentator, Andy Sauer, that this is going to be a fight to remember. Grant, I'm really excited for this fight. It, this, these guys are so good. As you can see already, there's so much respect for each other. Nice distance. Oh, I'm, I'm really looking, looking to these so boys. Khadid tucked up. G good defense. Oh, beautiful in control. One is the other Dutch fighter, the Frenchman, as a southpaw. Moy, uh, beautiful outside leg, a low kick with the left. Now, what, what, what's intriguing for me is the footwork of Khadid starting off. Yeah. A little bit unorthodox. Uh, looks like he's setting himself off balance on occasions, but, but it's been working for him up to now in his career. I have to say, 34 fights with 31 wins, I believe. Awesome, man. Awesome, right? And he, he sometimes a little bit tight, you know, that he's a little bit stressed. Yeah, his direction. shoulders, his yeah. shoulders are tight. Uh, high, yeah, high and Gotardi is open and relaxed. Exactly. Be beautiful shot with his power. He develops right a lot of power. Yeah. Very deceiving. Well, he's pretty straight up with his body, you see? But he looks strong. He well, looks in control. I, I've got to say, his his body geometry, yeah, it's very long. Yeah, strange bit he's, also. He, he's got a long neck and a long body. Yeah. Uh, oh, they got him. Got him on the chin. Gives him <laughs> right on the chin. Gives wow! Him a what a one for exactly. That right hand so was. That's why I said this is one. This is a fight we have to see, guys. Well, I didn't see that coming. Both straight punches. Both on the. Have me on the chin. And you see the aggression goes up a little bit because they both had a bit of success. Yeah. You can see that they are hungry to, to, to finish it. A minute left of this first round. Haji is a little bit wild so far with his open hooks, high elbows. You see, maybe there's a little, yeah, little, a little catch at Gregory. Above the right eye of, uh, of Gotardi, little tiny bit of blood, nothing to worry about at the moment, but it does get, if you cut your opponent even slightly, it gives you, gives you confidence. Exactly. That's how it works. It's all mental. But, oh, oh, that was a nice counter. Nice shot. Wow. Little short chopping right to the that's, temple. That's pure, pure concentration, pure timing momentum. You can do it. Hey, break. Stop. Oh, oh, this is like a go. chess match. Exactly, Grant. You're yeah. right. They're both. trying to work each other out by range, timing, and technique. Yeah, both guys really good, solid fighters. One orthodox, one southpaw. Same length, same weight, same age almost, like you said. And wow. Now, Andy, we were having a conversation or I was listening to a conversation you guys were having in a restaurant two days ago, and people were saying, why can't we take what you guys did in training, pass that on to the new generation, and they become champions? It doesn't work like that, does it? No, I think um, in, in, in my time and the time before, we were really in control as students. That meant that the trainers and coaches had a lot of structure. We worked a lot of with a lot of repeats, and we were allowing to push ourselves forwards by our trainers. And nowadays, the, the, the young guys they have their own opinion and, and things like that. So they, you see a lot of a lot of things, but you don't see structure. So why should why should I do what you say when it says on YouTube I should do this? I, uh, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. And so there is always a conversation or, or a kind of discussion. Uh, while if you just listen and just do what what your uh, what a good coach would tell you, uh, it, it, it will make you stronger. But maybe also the coaches and the trainers are. Oh, that was a nice high yeah, kick. Through his uh, defense, you see that Haji, Haji is really hurt of it. You know, 
at, at least he, yeah. he, he was. He got his interest. And I think, oh, that check. <laughs> that was a painful check, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, one, one thing I think is underrated is kicking the arms of your opponent. Yeah. Shins against the forearms. Yeah. Brings the arms down. Yeah. Um, as also the low kicks, you know, when you make a low kicks, you know, the fundamental part of the human body just gets killed and yeah. get numb eventually and really yeah. painful. And no matter how good a boxer you are, if you if you can't step in and step out, then the whole the whole strategy, the whole system is uh, crashing down. So then the opportunities will come. But in a three-round fight, it's difficult yeah. to play it out, isn't it? Exactly. If you're a really uh, focus on it and uh, you're, you're really, uh, how do you call it, uh, keep doing it, you know, and believing in it, even you you have to go through pain, if you have, yeah. if you have kicked on the block, just be consistency, you know, be consistent, sorry. And it's difficult, it, it's a funny thing to say you've got to have patience in a three round fight, <laughs> exactly, because yeah. it's so short, yeah. but some, like you say, if you're landing effective low kicks, yeah. Just for the first two rounds. In the third round, yeah, it's going to pay dividends. 100%. Yes, yes. I promise you, the grand. To you and to everybody who's believing in it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to believe to achieve, Andy. You know? And I'm, I'm very impressed yeah. and you know by Gotaldi's kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tush, they're very. Um, well. You well, see, he is influenced. Uh, uh, Isam is really influenced by the power of the kicks of uh, Gregory. Mm. And I expected a little bit more aggression, uh, like now, but it's still in control. So uh -huh. they have so I think they're wary of each other's power. Exactly. And it's interesting that the, the difference in, uh, in a fight, two 70 kilo fights, two of them go like crazy, yeah. work, work rate off the chart. And then these two guys, really they're showing power. Yeah. And if someone gets the timing right, someone's going to sleep, I'm sure yeah. of it. We almost could see it when both hit each other with a power, a power punch. But I'm really excited for the third round because now someone well. needs to go up now. Someone needs to level up the power speed. Well, let's, we, haven't, we haven't discussed where we are as we go into the third round. Yeah. What's your so scorecard far, I think telling it's us? It's equal, don't you think? You, th you mean there, a round There's no piece. one round for one guy, I think. Maybe a little bit, uh, our French guy, uh, Cotardi, is maybe in a slight advantage because uh, Shadid is not connecting well. You know, as you can see, he misses a lot. He's still aggressive, but I think uh, Kotadi is a little bit more in control. But like we said before, uh, it's really difficult to judge. Right. Uh, so right. We have to see. We have to see. Right. But I, th I think, Grant, you are ahead with the Frenchman, right? I'm afraid with, with Kotadi. Yes. Yeah. How do you know so. that? Uh, of course, I know it. <laughs> I feel it. I, I see it in your eyes. I see a little French. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the point. That's the the secureness. That's the well controlled technical eye of a good fighter. Many compliments to Qatar. Wow. So how do you teach timing? Uh, once again, like I just said, repeating, repeating, you know? Feeling, momentum, rhythm. Oh. So the same like a wrestler learns to feel his opponent. Exactly. And the, the more you practice, the more the tiniest things give it away. Yeah. That's when you can apply yeah. your timing, yeah. And exactly technique, it doesn't matter. The thing you want to do, if you do it on timing, there's always a stepping moment, you know? There's always a rhythm in the fight. Uh -huh. There's always a rhythm that your opponent has, and try to focus on that step. step oh, there's that step right hand, hand again. Yeah. So I go slightly, I'm going towards you, uh, Graham. That kick. Yeah. He's, uh, now I think he's more ahead. Well, Gotardi's preparation for this fight 
is spot on. Yeah. He's done his research. You see the Moroccan Spanish guy missing a lot right now. He's not exactly and he's taking well. that right hand when he comes again. in. Again. Again. I would love to see Cotardi now giving a little bit more pressure to force something to show us yep. and to sh show the judges that he's going to take that is the overall winner of well, the whole fight. Well, a great fighter, I've always said this, a great fighter will have, let's say, four gears. Yeah. First gear, second gear, third, and you've got to up the gears and change down and change yeah. up. Beautiful. If you've only got one gear, your opponent works you out. That's Major. when they work out your, time at, your yeah. timing. Yeah. You never change your pace. You never go up and down in speed, sharpness, in and out, in and out, so they can work you out. But if you up, up the gear, change down and change yeah. up, they've got a problem working you out. Yeah. That was a lovely push kick. <laughs> yeah, now he's so far ahead uh, in this third round. Our Frenchman, uh, Gregor Cotardi. But Khadid, ah, well, he's still dangerous, but he's missing. He's not connecting, exactly, Grant. Unfortunately, because if that would happen, it would make Cotardi also a little bit sharper and better. So you can see Cotardi is now just a little bit more playing. He's more in control. He's loosening up. He's he's not stressing out now. You see, you see, in out, stepping back. You think the south post the south post dance has put Khadid off his um off his balance? Like exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it took him took him off his. Uh, Maybe he hasn't had sparring partners or or uh, he yeah. didn't prepare for a south post. But what can we expect from Nicholas, professional fighters, Grant? If it would be like this, uh, like you said, no. If you're a professional fighter, you wow. would invite South Pole to the And who do, you blame? Like who do you blame? Who do you blame? In the red corner. Who do you blame? The coach. The coach. The coach. Exactly. Much, yeah. I'm thinking this could. If it should be, yeah. Draw. If it should well, be like that. Let's see what the judges yeah. just spoke about. If the situation was, was like that. It's a fight with lots of great skills and techniques. While we're waiting for the judges' scorecards, I would like to invite up Shihan Semi Schultz as the special awards. Presentator. Now, what's a presentator? Shihan Semi Shields. <laughs> uh, uh, not me Is to criticize anyone's English, but if an American sa says a word I don't understand, Semi Shields. I've got to say something. I'm going to have to pull Nicholas Petters to one side later and ask him, what is a presentator? The only trouble is he might axe kick me to the top of the head. <laughs> and, uh, ah, he's also old now, Grant, <laughs> so no worries. No, right, uh, by it, the way, I see him training on YouTube. And we have the official scores from the judges. She, she, she and Nicholas is Judge also training, still number training, one. so he's still fit, you know. 29 Yeah, but they edit all that 29. stuff. They edit it all together. See. Okay. Judge Red two. corner. I'm going for red corner. 30 to 28. I'm with you. I'm with you. Judge three, 29 to 28 Eight. in favor of the red corner, Gregory It was Gold the last round, Grant. It was the last round. It was the last round. It may have been one apiece up until then. Yeah. But I think Gotardi's game plan was spot on. Spot on. His timing and accuracy. But for a 70 kilo fighter, he's got some power as well. Yeah, exactly. But let's, let's not. Right off, Khadid. No, it, no way. Khadid is a great fighter. He tried and he did well. Yeah. Matchups make fights. Exactly. And that matchup was wasn't, a really nice didn't one. Didn't make it his night. A good matchmaker. Yeah. Do you know who's the matchmaker, Grant? Is, am I looking at him? Andrian. No, 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 just <laughs> Andrian. Oh. So, really? big thumbs. I don't see him uh, sitting down somewhere now, wow. but. Big thanks to him. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm gonna leave you again. Have fun, Grant. Thanks once again, and have fun. Yeah. I'll Oost. see you soon, Andy. Oh.